In chapter 13 of Hebrews, there's a reference that the writer of the epistle was, was accompanied by Timothy. And we know that Timothy accompanied Paul all through several of his, uh, of his passages. We do not have any record of him accompanying anybody else. That doesn't mean that he exclusively accompanied Paul, but we do not have any evidence of him accompanying anybody else. So again, there's no evidence. For, so, why? so if Paul did write the book of Hebrews, why would he keep it anonymous? It was recognized by the first century church why he didn't sign it. His primary mission was as an apostle to the Gentiles, not the Jews. Whenever he spoke to the Jews, there was a riot, right? The, the, the Roman soldiers had to arrest him to protect him from, the, from the, the mobs. Yet he had this deep burden for his brethren. When you look at Paul's life, you can expect that sooner or later he would write an epistle to his, from his own heart to his own people. But whenever he tried to address them, there'd be riots. The Jews were violently prejudiced against his ministry. He was hated by the Jews because he converted to Christianity. He was, they reputed his apostleship and led riots and so forth. But they also feared his attack against their ancient rituals and ceremonies. Because he's saying things that was not popular to the Jew. He never recovered the confidence of the, Jew, the Jewish side. And of course, he was also distrusted by many of the Christians because they remembered when he, as Saul, murdered them. Unlike his other epistles, nowhere in the book of Hebrews does Paul assert or defend his apostleship. Because that's not an issue. We know the reader, by the way, knew who the author was. He didn't sign it because he's not doing anything but expressing logic from their own scriptures. The book of Hebrews will stand or fall on the application of very critical verses all through the Old Testament making his point, not because of any authority he has. So he doesn't defend his apostles. You can see he builds his entire thesis on Jewish arguments from the Old Testament passages. He exalts Christ, not his own apostleship. And it's based entirely on the Old Testament. And by the way, the Greek version of the Old Testament, the, the Septuagint. And... Uh, I've come to the conclusion that Paul's not signing it is deliberate in order to eclipse any anti-Pauline prejudices of the Judaizers. Even today, we've got fellowships around that love Christ, but they're all caught up in trying to keep the Torah. And uh, they have uh, to get around an anti-Pauline prejudice even today. The fact that Paul wrote uh, 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 Hebrews is incidental. It's at best a footnote, one way or the other. Okay? Because there is an issue in Revelation 2.9 and Revelation 3.9. Those that say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. We need to understand what that's all about. Now, there are reasons that the text could not, could, that, that we could infer that the book is probably written before Paul's first imprisonment, but before his, after his first imprisonment, before his second. And uh, it's clearly written before the, seven, the fall of the temple at 70 AD. And uh, that may have been one of the reasons that the epistle was written, to encourage those that were having difficulties before the temple fell. Mm -hmm.